Bonsoir. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank la Fondation Auschwitz, Monsieur le Président Henri Goldberg, Daniel Vesso, responsable des prix, et la jury interuniversitaire qui a délibéré sur mon travail. I'm grateful you honor a young Italian researcher, that is to say a researcher who comes from a country where doing research is always more difficult because Italy is spending only 1.2% of our GDP on scientific research, an amount that is significantly under the average of European countries. So therefore, this is a very important public recognition for my work. But I'm also glad you award the research on Turkey, a country that is facing a complex authoritarian drift where no concrete political alternative seems emerge. In this respect, I would like to dedicate this award to Murat Celikan, co-director of the Truth, Memory and Justice Center of Istanbul, who was sentenced to two years of prison this summer for writing on a pro-Kurdish magazine and who fortunately has been temporarily released. Well, as uh, Arianna Catalano, Madame Arianna Catalano already said, my research focuses on intergenerational memory transmission of political violence among Turkish leftist families affected by the 1980 military coup. In this respect, Murat was one of my research participants, and his biography can shed light on some of the memory dynamics I analyze. During his youth, Murat was a militant of revolutionary organizations, and he was jailed and heavily tortured during the 1980s military coup. Then he abandoned the value of the revolutionary fighter and progressively embraced the human right discourses. By presenting itself as neutral and technical, universalistic discourse of human rights offer a new economy of reconciliation, which sometimes also run the risk of reducing subject into traumatized victims and of hiding political and historical reasons of painful memory. This is the reason why there is a huge critique of human rights rhetoric in social sciences. However, I show how such depolitization and dehistorization of memory in Turkey can paradoxically create new opportunities of agency and solidarity with respect to a field of memory that is highly conflicting, agonistic, politicized, polarized, and marked by essentialized identity claims. Through the analysis of Murat biography, I get out the dichotomy between a repressive state and counter memories that resist. Murat helped me to see the plurality of uses and languages of memory, from the code of martyr fighter to new global languages of transitional justice, to the differences and continuity in new generations that are part of global youth cape and at the same time are located in local conflict. Through the collection of life stories, the analysis of object, commemorations, form of protest, but also family atmospheres, emotions, hearing conceived as embodied forms of memory, I show how painful memory tells us about the present, or better, how the, the way the past is lived in the present time. Indeed, as uh, Madame Catalano remembered, the way through which we remember and the why we remember are issues that answer to the here and now. So I try to bring out the moral filters, the political rhetoric, the cultural framework through which painful memories are constructed, both in public and in private spaces. I reason on the mechanism through which a mnemonic community is built, as well as on the filters and codes through which one can identify himself or herself with the pain of others, or cannot. Similarly, I try to get out the readings where silence that is a big issue in Turkey, is interpreted as a dysfunctional element and remembering to narration is considered the unique way to free subject from the burden of a painful past. However, in leftist families affected by political violence, silence cannot be reduced to a precultural mechanism of unspeakable trauma. Of course, it is a defensive mechanism, but it also coagulates a microcosm of political and moral values, as well as affective relationship. It does not prevent emotional interaction, but it is a form of communication, a way to convey to new generation a corpus of practical knowledge and way of living the past in relation with the repressive present. The analysis of such plurality of meaning and uses, it is a core of my work. 
And therefore, I really would like to thank you again for this hour, and I give you my word that I will use it to continue my research on the relationship between memory and violence. Thank you.